All right, good afternoon, and it is time to start briefing you in on the next project. And yeah, the oil on the, the or the finish on the last one hasn't even had a chance to finish curing yet, and I'm just moving right on. Um, what I'm doing here is I'm unclamping a, a, a glue up that I did <clears throat> for the next bowl, and let's go ahead and show you what's what we got going on here. I've got three pieces of different types of wood here. I've got, well, your standard cherry right here. And then this is Sapel. And then this is, at least according to my lumber yard, Black Limba, although having looked at, you know, done a little bit of research on it, it might be White Limba. I'm not sure, but you know what? The young your lumber yard sold to me is Black Limba, so I'm gonna call it Black Limba. But anyway, the point of all this is that I have three different contrasting species of wood here. If I could have done this with, uh, you know, cherry, walnut, and maple, I would have done that, or, you know, maybe uh, mahogany or something like that. I just did not have any pieces thick enough. So, anyway, again, I'm digressing, which I tend to do. So, uh, what I did was I took three different pieces here, and I cut the each piece about six and a half inches long, and about three and three quarter, yeah, three and three quarter inches wide. And after I did that, I, well, I mark, you can see what I've done and you can probably see where this is gonna go. But what I did was I made sure I had the grain running in the correct direction and I marked off, and to do that, I marked off the center of each board. So <clears throat> I would know where to cut. And then, coming in from the edge of the board, I made a 30 degree cut on each side of the center mark. So the wood actually started off, well, if it started off as a piece, <laughs> there we go, as a piece like that, then what I ended up doing was cutting that way and that way. Because what I needed to have here in the middle were three 120 degree cut uh, it, it, uh, angles and of course three times 120 360 and that's the number of degrees in a circle so after I did that on my table saw although you could certainly do this on a scroll saw but although if you did that you'd end up probably needing to sand all these joints a little bit uh, but anyway three <laughs> three pieces of wood different species and you can also see I've marked out my circle for the bowl that I'm going to start cutting out on my scroll saw. Although it is threatening rain outside, so that's not going to happen, at least not in the very near future. So, anyway, with that, uh, well, actually, before I even do that, i got to take it outside. And I do need to sand off. Well, you know what? I can go ahead and, I can go ahead and mark this circle right now if I want to. Uh, I leave the circle on or cut the circle out if I want to, but really what I'm going to do is I'm going to go outside and I'm going to sand this part down so it gets rid of all the glue marks and there's a little bit of unevenness. So take that and do, sand on the back as well and then I will uh, remark the center, remark my circle and go from there. So, uh, show you when that's done. <laughs> oh, hey.
So that was a bit over 30 minutes of sanding <laughs> compressed out. But when I use the previously cut ring to draw the saw line for the next ring, it, I think it really cuts down on the amount of sanding I have to do. I didn't do as near as much sanding as I did on this on this one as I did on the on the very first bowl that I made. So anyway, with that, it's time to glue these last uh, glue the base of the bowl onto this onto this last piece here. And anyway, I went ahead and I just set a, a sheet of sandpaper on the table, and then you know rub the uh, rub the base of the bowl and 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 this piece right here that I'm putting the glue on uh, in a circle on it just to make sure I had a good had a good flat good flat gluing surface so when I get it in here into the clamp it's gonna come out uh, it's gonna be a very tight nice tight snug joint so uh, anyway let's go ahead and put this on here and uh, I'm gonna I'm I'm liking this pattern because I don't have to be near as fussy with uh, lining up my joints as I would on the uh, on on the other bowls where I where I had single pieces running through there to create accent lines. So anyway, alrighty, that's looking pretty good. Maybe yeah, there we go. Just swinging out a hair more. Yeah, that looks about right. So. Just give it a few seconds here, and uh, all right. Just let the glue set enough to hold it in place, so when I start clamping it down with this, it doesn't start sliding on me, which is which can always end up being embarrassing, and not to mention a. Uh, big waste of all the work that I've done so far. So. This one, I decided I'm going to go with a well. I'm going to go with the mineral oil and the mineral oil beeswax combo. And uh, anyway, uh, basically, I had a friend who was asking me about this, and I wanted to do a little again, a little experiment. So I'm just going to go ahead and do rub the mineral oil in by hand with basically doing the same thing I would have done with uh, with the Danish oil. Although in this particular case, I don't think it's going to need as as much time to rub it in. Uh, certainly the, the mineral oil is going to need a little less time to cure. So, and I, again, this is going to do the same thing that the Danish oil was doing. It's going to create a slurry and it's going to let me fill in the pores, the little microscopic pores and gaps in the wood. It's going to give a very smooth finish. But uh, most importantly, it's going to give a food safe finish. I plan, I'm making this bowl as a gift. And when I send it to the final recipient, uh, she's going to want some assurances that it is indeed a food safe finish. So, 
Um, so anyway, oh, that's going to look, uh, I think that's going to look nice. So there's, um, there's the inside of it right now. And you can see those three different woods are contrasting nicely. So anyway, uh, I'm going to just keep doing this. And like I said, I've got my mineral oil and beeswax combination uh, preheating on the stove. So after this gets this part of it gets done, after rubbing in the uh, rubbing the oil in, I'm going to come back and I'm going to do well the cutting board finish basically. So anyway, um, that I'll come back and show you uh, what it looks like. When I'm done. All right, here it is, finished up and looking good. What I did was I went ahead and I heated up the mineral oil that had the beeswax melted into it, and I rubbed one last coat of that on the bowl, and that's going to give me a nice. Well, it's given it a very nice luster. You can see, you can see for example right there what it looks like. The uh, Three different woods are standing out nicely. Again, this is the Limbo, this is Sapel, and this is Cherry. And I don't want to touch it right now because it's still a little tacky, but I did want to go ahead and get this done so you can see what the different rings are looking like on the outside and on the inside. And like I said, I think it came out very, very nicely. Let's see touch it without getting myself too too funky here but yeah uh, it, uh, yeah I, I, I'm really really happy with this particular with this particular outcome here so uh, the sapel looks just gorgeous so anyway <laughs> uh, like I said uh, I gave it a good soaking with mineral oil although the mineral oil didn't absorb into the wood the way it did with my cutting board but that's because there's very very little if any end grain showing on this so there's nothing really for it to get pu pulled into uh, so uh, I rubbed the mineral oil on let it sit for a while then wiped it off and then I rubbed on the mineral oil with the beeswax and let that sit cool down and then I just buffed it out so uh, at this point I could do pretty much well whatever I want to with it so I just want to let it dry for a little bit longer and that way it won't <laughs> leave a mess wherever I happen to leave it so anyway hope you enjoyed the uh, this build video and I will uh, figure out what the next project is gonna be so I'll talk to you later bye